Hi guys, I'm back. I'm feeling better. All right. Okay. So, we had a Libra full moon recently, and it was very intense. Um, I think I'm going to be doing a live here soon, my very first live. <laughs> It'll probably be um, next week, maybe, well, hmm. I have a lot going on this week. I wanted to do it this week, but I think I'm I'm thinking I'm going to have to push it to next week. Um, you know, because it's my son's birthday week. I have a lot going on. I'm starting a yoga class, so I have a lot going on. All right. But anyways, um, there was a lot of purging. A lot of you were sick. And oh, there's a hair somewhere. Sorry, I hate that. A lot of you were sick and that's one of the reasons that I wanted to make a video about it because of all of this very intense, all of these very intense energies that we were all dealing with. Um, and I feel like a lot of the sickness was because we were going through a sort of collective energy purging, like very intense upgrades. So, you know, that's what I'm going to be talking about in my next live. My first live, actually. It'll be my first live. And I'll also, you know, do a reading for you guys too as well. But I wanted to connect and see how you guys were doing after this whole, these very intense energy upgrades. Um, and this reading, if you've caught it, is going to be for all signs it's going to be um, a Libra full moon reading predictions. So I'm going I'm going to um, start from Aries and go all the way to Pisces, and we're going to see what this Libra full moon is going to be bringing in for you. Okay, so it's going to be it'll it'll be pretty quick. I'll probably do like two cards each time. So. We're going to start with Aries first. What is the full moon going to be bringing in for Aries? What's the full moon bringing? Ooh. What's the full moon bringing in for Aries? And I'm just going to use my Rider Waite deck for this. So I'll probably show the cards. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. And my camera light is charging. It's plugged into the wall. So hopefully it'll be done. Um, and I can use it for the next readings. I'm going to try to do some some love readings by the signs here too after this. All right. Why did that shuffle come out so weird? Let me try that again. <laughs> Aries. What are we got coming in? Okay. What is this Libra full moon bringing in for Aries? So the Libra full moon is over. But um, the energies still very much linger around. You know, those of you that study astrology know that the energies will be around probably until the middle of May, I want to say. Maybe even longer. <clears throat> so, and they will bring in something different for, for everyone. What do we got for Aries? What is this Libra full moon going to bring in for Aries? Two cards, please. Let's see. Oh, Aries. <laughs> Uh, the Libra full moon is going to bring in love for you. Ooh, oh my God. Hold on one second. Card flip. All right, Aries. So the first card that I got for you, look, is the lovers. And so, you know, the, the Libra full moon for you is bringing in some love. And I'll tell you what, this is a different type of love than you've, that you've experienced this love is going to make you super duper duper happy. It's going to bring a lot of illumination into your life too. It feels like a very spiritual type love. You got the sun, which shows me one, one of the happiest cards in the deck. It's sunshine. It's happiness. It's joy. For some of you, it'll be children. Yes, for some of you, definitely, you're going to be having some more children. So if you don't want any, that I suggest you take precautions this is going to be a very enlightened type love. Oof. 
and I feel like you will meet this person if you're going to be traveling somewhere. Okay. Wow. All right. So what's up for Aries? Taurus. Let's go on to Taurus. Taurus, what will the Libra full moon bring in for Taurus? That went really quickly. Like your two cards, I got the one card and then the other card just flew out. All right. So what do we got for Taurus? What are the two things coming in for Taurus? When we get done, I will draw a um, love message card for all of you as well, too. Okay. Taurus, why do I always feel like there's a hair somewhere and it bugs me? Sorry, I'm irritated right now. One second. Okay, sorry about that, Taurus. What is the Libra full moon bringing in for Taurus, please? What is the Libra full moon bringing in for Taurus? Woo! Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Two cards for Taurus? Okay, so... Whatever seeds you planted in the past few months, they're growing. And for some of you, you're going to get some much needed alone time. Also, wow, for some of you, you're actually going to be going through a, another great spiritual awakening. So if you're not awakened already, maybe this is what's going to be your trigger there's going to be something that's going to activate and trigger you. So this is for you, Taurus, you have activations coming in. You're going to have um, some more ascension symptoms. I hope they're not as rough as mine were with this whole sickness. Some illumination of some truths. So that's that card. Um it shows me that you're going to get some much needed rest, some illumination, all the things that I just said. Also, you have the Empress card here. So there's going to be some massive transformation for you, Taurus. There's going to be a lot of growth. This could even be if you're a divine masculine. This could be a divine feminine, so a divine counterpart coming in for you. What else? I guess that's it. They're not giving me any more messages. Can I just say one thing to this person that's coming in? If if you are a divine masculine and you're watching, a divine feminine counterpart will be coming in for you, Taurus. And this person is going to give you a lot of comfort. It's going to be a feeling immediately of home when you meet this person. They will make you feel very comfortable. Which is good because Taurus likes, you know, creature comforts. All right. So, Aries, Taurus, Zebra, Taurus. I should have wrote these down. I'm going to need to write these down. <laughs> I'm going to get lost. I think it's Gemini. One second. Aries, Taurus. Yep. Gemini, Cancer. Leo, right? Okay. So, on to Gemini. What do we got for Gemini? What is this Libra full moon bringing in for Gemini, please? Whoops. Gemini. What do we got for Gemini? All right. What do we got for Gemini? Uh, 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 uh. Two cards for my Geminis. What you got for my Geminis? Ooh, Gemini. What is going on with you? Okay, one more card for Gemini. What's what's this Libra full moon bringing in for Gemini's? Okay. Gemini. All right, so some of you are going to be definitely, definitely, definitely doing some partnership work. So some kind of business partnership. 
a collaboration with someone. If you, if you work alone and you're an entrepreneur and you're an artist, someone is going to see your work recently and they're going to try to commission you to, to make something for them. They're going to want to buy something from you and it's going to be a very lucrative investment. I mean, they're going to pay you a lot of money for something. So if you're an entrepreneur, then and you then you know that this message is for you. Okay. I also see some of you doing like some... I want to say humanitarian work, but I'm not sure that's the right word. Some kind of charity work. Um, you're going to be giving some of your time and energy to, to something, okay? And it feels local, so it, I don't think it's going to be like... I don't think you're going to be traveling to do it. I feel like it's like in your local neighborhood or something. And it's going to serve you well because when you put in that energy, that energy is going to come back to you, Gemini. Okay. Now, the first card that came out for you too was feeling like you're trapped. You have a lot of racing thoughts, some anxiety. Um... Some of you are having some severe anxiety over your home situation. I, I don't know why that is, but whatever issues that you're experiencing right now, like worried about your home situation, it it's it's not it's all I don't want to say like it's all made up because it's not. It's very real right now in your reality, but you you're feeling like you don't have any way out of the situation and you really do there's lots of options it's just a matter of sitting down and trying to figure out the best way out of your situation okay so you're going to need to take some time for yourself whether that's resting whether that's meditating whether that's um you know just taking a vacation and stepping back away from your situation then you're going to be able to get clarity and you'll be able to figure it out. You're going to follow the signs and the omens and, you know, you'll you'll find your answers, okay? So it's going to work itself out, okay? Whatever is stressing you out about your um, home situation, okay? If you're trying to find, whether it's, you know, you're living with someone and you don't like it or you're trying to find somewhere to live because, you know, the place where you're living at is just costing you too much money, when you sort of step away from the situation, um, you'll find that the answer sort of makes itself clear. You're too invested in whatever it is right now, okay? All right. Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Cancer? Cancer is next, right? got for cancer what is this libra full moon energy bringing in for cancer please cancer reading now for cancer what is this libra full moon bringing in for cancer all right so what do we got for cancer if you're an aries stick around because i am going to do a love reading for aries i'm probably going to read for aries and i think capricorn tonight all right, what do we got for Cancer? What is this Libra full moon bringing in for Cancer? Two cards, please, for Cancer. All right, I need to get a little bit closer to this table. I'm so far away. Okay, so we got Strength. Very nice. So, Cancer, you are going to be getting some added cushion <laughs> meaning some um a great support system okay right now you're feeling very much alone i don't know whatever it is that you're going through
but your support system is just going to grow by groves, okay? It's just, you know, you're going to be getting way more um, help, whether it's financially, whether it's emotional, um, or even mental. You have a new support system of soul family tribe that's coming in to give you this added cushion and strength when you feel like you can no longer go on by yourself. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You cancers have been going at it alone for a really long time. You're really strong. And, you know, you're one of the signs that even though you're really strong, you're also very sensitive. So, you know, you know when to cry. You also know when to put your crab armor on. And so you, I feel like a lot of you cancers have had to go on for a long time by yourself. And now you're not going to have to because you're going to have a whole new soul tribe that's coming in to grab you out of the depths when you're drowning, okay? Um, I feel like I should go back and read Aries cards again and see if there's any more messages for them. It seemed like their message was very short, but I don't know. I'll get the cards out again and see if I can get any more messages for you, Aries, at the end of this reading, okay? Um, sometimes I just, you know, go in so fast and I, yeah. All right. So we have the Four of Wands here too, Cancer, which shows me that you have a, um, a very committed relationship coming in or your relationship is going to the next level. This is massive stability as well. So if you were in a position right now where things were sort of not stable in your life, you were, you know, you didn't have anywhere to live, you didn't have a stable job, all of that's changing. This Libra full moon is bringing in massive amounts of stability. We have the four pillars, you know, I like to call these the four pillars of stability, the, um, the four of wands, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. There's a castle in the background. So this to me always represents like home stability. So for some of you, if you're looking for somewhere to live, that place is coming in with the Libra full moon. Also for those of you cancers that are in a relationship, you're going to get married. All right. Or if you're single and you're dating and looking for someone, there's a great possibility that the person will come in um, for those of you that are dating someone and it's not serious and it doesn't go into marriage, you will be going to the next level. So they will be asking to move in with them or something like that. But here's my advice. If they ask you to move in with them, I would say no. Point blank period. Because you deserve better than to be just a, um, and it's going to be different for everyone. So, you know, if you're the type of person that doesn't believe in marriage, then that's fine. Absolutely. You know, if this person asks you to live with them, then yes, by all means, you know. But if you're the type of person that wants to get married and this person asks you to move in with them, I would say no. My advice to you would be to say no because you deserve better than to be someone's play or, um, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, spirit? Not substitute. Um Oh gosh, when you're trying something out and you don't know if you're going to buy it yet, we'll just say rent. You know, you deserve better than to be someone's rented wife, trial, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you, Spirit. You deserve better than to be someone's trial period wife, okay? They're not just going to try you out. Oh, this is a trial period. I don't know if we're really going to get married. Let me just try you out. No, you're not a suit, Cancer. No, you deserve better than that. You deserve better than that. Okay. So who's after Cancer? Leo. All right. What is the Libra full moon bringing in for Leos? I needed some water and I forgot to drink some. All right. What's the Cancer full moon bringing in for Leo? Cancer? Did I say Cancer full moon? Libra full moon. Still on Cancer. I hope you guys can't hear my cat snoring. My cat is snoring. All right. What is the Libra full moon bringing in for Leos, please? noise 
Here's the Libra full moon bringing in for our Leos, please. Okay. Leo, two cards for Leo, please. Whoa. Okay, so I was shuffling and this card literally went like this. Let me show you. I'm going to show you, Leo, because this is what happened <laughs> as I was shuffling. So, just like the first prediction that I gave you guys in, was it in April? Was it this April? Yes, it was. Your April love read. <laughs> it's showing love again. We got the Two of Cups. Oh, Leo. And this is someone that's actually on your level. They're going to match your passion. Hold on. Okay, hold on, Spirit. Can we hold on with the messages real quick so I can get another card out for Leo? They're coming quick with these messages now. Okay, one more card for Leo, please. What else we got for Leo with this Libra full moon energy? Oh, yes. You're going to have some massive success and growth too, Leo. Okay. They want me to focus on this other card real quick. So for some of you that are entrepreneurs, all this hard work that you have been doing, busting your butt, whatever it is, giving your all, putting your heart and your soul and your passion into, excuse me, you are going to start seeing those seeds. <laughs> Goodness. You are going to start seeing those seeds popping up. It's just going to be just a little tiny little thing, right? A little tiny bud. But oh my God, once those little buds shoot up, like you just look in the dirt and you see the little tiny little one little leaf, you're going to come back in like a week and be like, whoa, you're going to have like a beanstalk about this big. I mean, them seeds are growing and it's going to go quick. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, like I didn't even, there was nothing here. <laughs> like a couple weeks ago, I come back and all of a sudden it's like this big. <clears throat> so keep watering those dreams, Leo. All right. And, you know, for those of you that do work for other people, I see massive promotions, a lot of wealth. I think somebody's getting up. Um, sorry for any background noise. Hello? Hold on one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that, Leo. All right, so what else? Um... Yeah, so for for those of you that work for other people, you have some promotions coming in. I see lots of wealth coming in for you with this Libra full moon. Now for the love card, this person that's coming in, it could be another Leo. Um, they're showing me a lion. There's also the lion that keeps standing out to me in this card. All right, so... Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Leo, but this person that comes in is going to match your energy, okay? Both of you have been working really hard at manifesting each other, and you didn't even realize it. There's lots of passion, lots of fire, so they are going to match your passion. For some of you too, you guys are going to be building a home together. I see a home in the background of this card. It feels very domesticated. <laughs> if that's what you want. Your guys' energy is very much already intertwined. Can I say that? This, the whole, I know the... Um, what's that thing on there? The two snakes intertwining. I know it's a, what's it called? Could, I can't remember what it's called. With the C, Cadu, Caduceus? I, I don't know. Okay. And you know what I mean. The, the two snakes intertwine. It's the medical symbol. I can't get the name right. Um, sometimes when I channel, you know, the messages get all like whatever. But anyways, um, I know that's what it is. I know I know it's the two snakes. I know it's a medical symbol, but they keep showing that to me and they keep saying your energy is intertwined. So your guys' energy is already starting to intertwine. It's been intertwined for a long time. And for some reason or another, Leo, you guys, um, 
there was a reason that you guys weren't didn't meet yet so the timing was off but your guys' energy has always been intertwined if that makes sense and so when you oh this this necklace is itching me when you guys do meet it's gonna feel very natural it's gonna be almost like a zip like a magnetic pull anything else i think that's it it's gonna be a very strong gravitational pull for you Whew. all right because your guys' energy is already intertwined I just keep saying that all right, so what's next? What's after Leo? Libra. All right, so what's coming up for Libra? Libra, what's coming up for Libra? No, is it Virgo? Yeah, it's Virgo, then Libra. Sorry. So what do we got for Virgo? I almost skipped Virgo. All right, what is this Libra full moon bringing in for Virgo, please? What do we got for Virgo? What is the Libra full moon bringing in for Virgo, please? All right. Two cards for Virgo, please. What's going on for my beautiful Earth sign, Virgos? Two cards for Virgo. Woo! All right. Okay, one more card for my Virgos. What's this Libra full moon bringing in? Ooh, that card flew out. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, so here's what we got going on. Virgo, I see some happy endings coming up for you guys, all right? I see for some of you some united families, um, and by that I mean united families, extended families. So for those of you that are in a relationship, you're going to be taking it to the next level as in marriage, commitment, um, all the things that, you know, I said for cancer, moving in together, blah, blah, blah. Okay. If that's what you want, make sure not to settle. So if you're not engaged, my advice is do not move in with this person. You're nobody's rent a wife. Okay. I'm going to just give you the same advice that I gave cancer. You deserve better. But if you're the type of person that doesn't believe in marriage and you just want to be with this person and live with them, then that's okay. You know, it's it's all about what feels good for you. Um, this is a long-awaited love blessing. Look, happy family, very happy family vibes, a lot of warmth, a lot of like coffee and tea by the fire moments, roasting marshmallows. They're showing me literally a whole calligraphy of like memories with this person it's beautiful okay but here's the thing some of you virgos when it comes in and all of this you're getting all of your desires fulfilled and all of your wishes fulfilled and all of this happily ever after um don't let this past shit get in your way again this card keeps coming up look at this this wounded warrior don't get all in your head about it and think it's too good to be true because you deserve this virgo you guys have been in this energy for a really long time this energy of i'm protecting my heart i don't want to fall in love i'm afraid it's time to cut that shit out <laughs> i'm gonna get irritated with you virgo seriously it's enough lick the wounds put a fucking band-aid on it and move on for real okay for some of you too, this is, you are moving on from this energy, okay? So I see a lot of you getting sick of this wounded warrior energy and sort of moving on. But I also see a lot of you being still stuck in it. So be aware of that, okay? All right, moving on. We're going on to Libra. What's this Libra full, Libra full moon? That was a mouthful. <laughs> what is this Libra full moon bringing in for Libra? All right, what you got from a beautiful Libras that the Libra full moon's bringing in for the Libras? <laughs> I don't know why, this is all like singing for you guys. All right, what do we got for Libra? Two cards for my beautiful Libras. What is their full moon bringing in for them? They better have some good shit because y'all have not had a good year. I don't think any of us had, but Libra especially. Oh, look at that. 
Okay, Libra, I think you're finally getting ready to be opened up. Oh, goodness. I'm going to get one more card for y'all because, you know, this three just flew out. So those are side energy cards, but I want to pick one for my intuition for you guys. What do we got for Libra? Libra, what's coming in for our beautiful Libras? Bam, just like that. I knew it. I didn't want to say it ahead of time because I wanted to get one more card to make sure I was reading the energy right. Oh, Libra, this is beautiful. Okay, so I see you finally, finally, finally getting over this recent betrayal that happened. Look, this card came out as, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we got the Queen of Cups, right, which shows me that you're open and receptive and finally letting go of this feeling of betrayal, okay? And for good reasoning, you have a new love that's coming in, or for those of you that are in a relationship right now, right? This, nope, this feels new, sorry. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay. Let me take that back. For those of you that are in a relationship right now, you do have commitment coming. You're, it's, it's marriage, okay, it's marriage. We got this card. Okay, the four pillars, again, I call them the four pillars. It's commitment, it's stability. For some of you, you're going to be moving, you're going to be getting a new home. You're creating massive amounts of stability for yourself. Libra, you went through your mini death and now this is the time where you're going to harvest all of the good things, okay? This right here came out right after this one. So it shows me you're getting over that betrayal. Look at that. See that? The betrayal, the manipulation, the lies, that is all in the past. That energy of this person or persons, a lot of you Libras, I know, I know. I have a lot of Libra friends and all of you are going through the same lesson right now in this timeline. Betrayal, manipulation. Some of you have dealt with massive, a liar, a, a massive liar. I mean, I was going to share a clip, but Spirit was like, no, just spit it the I'm just spit it the fuck out. You guys were dealing with a manipulative, manipulative person or persons or friends or whatever. It doesn't even have to be a romantic interest. You were dealing with a lot of lies and manipulation and those people were revealed to you and now you know how they were. It was just 3232 on my camera phone, Libra. All right. And those lessons were learned. It was a major soul lesson for you. You should be proud of yourself. You came through it and you you did it. You learned the lesson and that soul contract is done and it's closed. And now you have marriage and you have love. I told you. I could feel the love energy and this other person's energy already brewing in, in the mix, but I didn't want to say it because this came out, this flew out. as And so, you know, I call those side energy cards, you know, I call them like side hose, side energies. So I put it to the side and I see if it sort of meshes with the energy and if I'm on the right track. And then this one flew out and I was like, there's that manipulation that you guys have been dealing with, but it's gone. You dealt with it. You close that chapter. You're moving on. And now you're ready. You're open, receptive. You finally put those lessons behind you and you got new love coming in. And for some of you, it's going to be the one. It's going to be your partner for the rest of your life. You will get married. Bam. Oh, that was a lot of message for Libra. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Who's after Libra? Um... Stop. Hold on one second. Okay. I believe it's Scorpio. I believe it's Scorpio next. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay. So we're going to do Scorpio. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'll get all the 12 signs in. I promise I will. Okay. So we're going to do Scorpio next. What is the Libra full moon bringing in for Scorpio? Scorpio. What is the Libra full moon bringing in for Scorpio, please? What do we got for Scorpio? What is the Libra full moon bringing in for Scorpio, please? Two cards. What is the Libra full moon bringing in for Scorpio now? All right, then let me shuffle one more time for you, Scorpio. What's going on with this? 
cards. Okay. Scorpio. Two cards for Scorpio, please. Remember, you guys don't go anywhere after this. Um, I'll put the timestamps on here anyways for you guys. So... Oh, that one flew. Hold on, Scorpio. So sweaty. Seven of Cups. Why are this energy is crazy? All right. One more card, please. Actually, we're going to do two because I didn't get to pick any for you because <laughs> they just threw the cards out. One more card for Scorpio, please. You guys got one, two, three, four, five cards. Phew, what the hell? Okay, right off the bat, they're showing me a divine feminine. So for you Scorpio males, there's going to be a divine feminine coming in. Oh my God, she's a doozy. She's beautiful. She's sensual. She's sexy. She's fit. She's wealthy. She's tapped in. She's intuitive. She smells good, too. <laughs> That's everything they told me. Possible Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. So we have Queen of Pentacles, the Empress. That was the divine feminine energy that I'm feeling for you. So if you are a Scorpio masculine, that's what you have coming in for you. And it's a doozy. All right. There's also going to be some hidden truths that are going to come to light for this Libra full moon for you. The energy is going to bring in a lot of secrets. Ooh, Scorpio. I feel like these secrets are going to come from other people, though. They're not going to come from you. You're still going to remain pretty secretive and mysterious. You know, that's Scorpio energy for you. There is something that you really want to do, like... All right, here's the deal. So you have a lot going on right now, Scorpio. And you have a lot of options in all departments. Um, there's been a lot. You have been doing... <laughs> You've been doing a lot of manifesting, Scorpio, a, a, a ton of manifesting. And so now, now everything's going to come in all, all at once and you have a million options and you don't know which path to choose. I guess it's going to be up to you which path you choose. But once you decide on what it is that you want, whether you were manifesting multiple love partners, multiple homes, multiple um, or multiple places to live, I mean, um, multiple cars for some of you it's gonna be multiple cars you're trying to decide on a car a place to move to um job a job oh it's, it's so many different things for so many of you there's a lot of messages coming in but once you decide on what you want you're gonna go full throttle at it which is you know typical scorpio fashion we got knight of swords be careful though to like weigh out your options like don't just take the first thing and then just jump on in like full blast because I feel like <sighs> I don't want you to regret the decision so try to take your time I know knight of swords is like really hasty like going for it really quickly but I want you to take your time Scorpio okay these are there's all the options and which cup will you choose? And then there's the moon card, all those secrets. All right, one second. I'm going to have to pause this and I'm going to have to write down the astrological signs. I want to make sure I'm not going to miss any sign. And then I'll just um, make another video and splice it, okay? All right, so we're going to go on to Sagittarius. What is the Libra full moon bringing in for Sagittarius? Right. What do we got for Sagittarius? What is the Libra full moon bringing in for Sagittarius? Two cards for Sagittarius, please. So I was right. It was a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces. I don't know why I doubted myself, but I did. Like a brain fart. Okay. Two cards for Sagittarius. What is the Libra full moon bringing in for our beautiful Sagittarius, please? All right. What do we got for Sagittarius? 
two cards. Libra full moon for our Sagittarius. All right. <clears throat> so I see some of you bringing in a lot of wealth, Sagittarius. Okay. But be careful to like... I feel like at this point, Sagittarius, you're going to bring in a lot of money. But I feel like... See? There's money again. But I feel like you're going to be really scared to let go of it. Because maybe like... <clears throat> you're not working as many hours. Um, you're afraid that your newfound abundance is not going to last. Does that make sense? They keep showing me like fear of letting go of, um, of pentacles. And again, that's a major soul lesson that you're, you guys are going to have to learn and work through. Okay. <clears throat> so Here's what's going to help if you put aside money by all means, save, save. I mean, save for a rainy day. It's good. Save for a rainy day. I'm not saying don't save. That's not what I'm saying. Everybody needs money for emergencies. Put some money aside in a savings by all means. Save it for a rainy day. But here's, here's what I also would like for you guys to do so you can get through this soul lesson of <clears throat> holding on too tightly to things, Okay. <clears throat> give some of that money and it doesn't even have to be a lot okay to some type of charity or something that means a lot to you okay and it doesn't have to be a lot like I said it can be like for example when you go to the checkout line and they say oh do you want to give a dollar to world hunger or whatever okay whatever it is <laughs> you know when you're in, when you for some of you that have pets and you go to pet smart and they're like would you like to give a dollar to the Humane Society? And you're like, eh, and you don't normally do it. Okay, so, you know, do that. Give a dollar. Give two dollars. Give 50 cents. I don't care, but make sure that you you consecutively give to charity um, on a consistent basis, okay? Because that's going to help you work through this soul lesson of, like, holding on too tightly to your pentacles, okay? <laughs> All right, and then we have Page of Pentacles. So again, this is um, more money <laughs> coming in. So for Sagittarius, for this month, the the Libra full moon is bringing in for you. You you're gonna have a lot of money. They're bringing it's it's money, it's money, okay, wealth. <laughs> but also, I see you learning a lot of lessons, a lot of spiritual lessons. So for some of you. This Libra full moon is going to bring in lots of spiritual lessons. Now, it's going to be, um, for some of you, I see you finding a new spiritual teacher, a new spiritual club, um, a spiritual community, online community that you're joining, and you're going to learn so much from this community. Um, it, Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to propel you into another massive spiritual growth and another um, spiritual awakening, ascension. It's beautiful energy. I see a lot of you in this month too opening up and learning how to deal with your emotions. A lot of personal growth. A strong desire for learning. For some of you, you're going to be like working out too. You're going to start a new workout regime. Regimen, what is the word you're looking for, Spirit? Regimen, yes. A new workout routine, okay? And you're going to get really buff. <laughs> I don't know why they're showing me that, but they are. You're going to get, like, a lot of, like, I feel like some of you, your body's just going to, like, change overnight. You're going to get, like, a lot of muscle growth. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, moving on. All right, so we're going on to Capricorn. What do we got for Capricorn? What is this Libra full moon bringing in for Capricorn, please? Hmm. Interesting. All right, what do we got for Capricorn, please? <laughs> Just giggling at the muscles that they showed me for Sagittarius. That's cute. All right, what do we got for our Capricorns, please? Two cards. What is the Libra full moon bringing in for our Capricorns, please? What do we got for our Capricorns? Whoa, okay. One more card for Cappy, please. My beautiful... Ooh, Cappies. Oh, God. Uh, 
The same old fiery, passionate cappy. It keeps coming up. You guys always come out as the Knight of Wands all the time. Like every reading, it's so funny. All right. Uh, we got some tower moments coming in for cappies. Okay. For some of you, this is going to be a period of learning to balance your logic and your heart space. So it's going to be a perfect balance of your head and your heart. In the past, you spent a lot of time being very cerebral, thinking, 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 not enough feeling. This period, this Libra full moon, there's going to be a huge tower moment, and I don't know what it is. For some of you, it's going to be a good tower moment. For some of you, it's going to be a bad one. Either way, it's going to be a lesson. Something's coming in. It's going to strike like lightning. It's going to be very quick. It's going to be, it's going to happen. And whatever it is, I don't know what it is, but you're not going to expect it. They're showing me a million different things for, for, it's going to be different for, for everyone. For some of you, it's going to come as a breakup. For some of you, it's coming as a betrayal. For some of you, it's going to come as a storm putting a tree through a window. Okay. I don't, I don't. They're, they're showing me a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, Capricorn. Okay, I get it, Spirit. So, a dog being lost. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, they're just... There's a lot of messages coming through. Um, anyways, so these things are meant to push you into further integrating the energies of cerebral to heart. They want you to strengthen that heart and mind connection they want you to get out of this and feel more into this okay too much thinking not enough feeling when you balance these it's going to be thinky feely thinky feely feely and thinky thinky feel feely think think you feel felink okay <laughs> i know it's so i'm sorry that's it <laughs> okay but i see you still struggling a little bit with learning to control your temper being a little bit impatient wanting things now and things aren't coming in as quickly um i i see it still though a lot of passion so whatever it is that you're doing right now you're really passionate about it i see that um for some of you you're going to find something else that you're really passionate about whether that's a person or a job Feels like a job, though. Yeah, they're showing me a job. All right. Guess that's all we got. We got this Queen of Swords. We got Knight of Wands. And we have a tower. Okay. All right. Let me pull one more card for you. Can we get one more card for Capricorn? What else is this Libra Full Moon going to bring in for them? All right, wealth, you have a lot of income coming in. The fish and the page of cups shows me some wealth. Also, I feel like when you learn to balance this head and heart space, for some of you, you have a new person coming in or this person that you're dealing with right now, for those of you that are already involved. I see them studying you a lot like okay I just got a vision of someone laying in a bed and sunlight streaming across your face and the, this person like this is gonna sound weird but I see this person like studying your features in the sunlight and they're just mesmerized and they think you're beautiful so for some of you if you're already dealing with someone i see them completely it's 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 next level like they're going to what's the right word that i'm looking for i see them like wanting to get even more in depth with learning about you like the page of cops to me is like learning but this is love and it's like the person wants to know more and more about you they're going to question you about so it's this energy of like um 
what do you eat for breakfast in the morning? Like, how do you, when you get out of the shower, do you put your hair up in a, in a bun or do you wrap it up in a towel? Do you blow dry it? Do you let it air dry? Do you use any product in your hair? They're just going to be really curious and want to know everything about you. Because for some reason, I feel like there's a distance between you guys right now. Maybe you guys live far away from each other and they want to envision every single part of your day and things about you so that they can feel closer to you. If that makes sense. Whew, thank you, Spirit. That was a lot. Sorry. I know. <laughs> All right. So who's after Capricorn? Um, Aquarius. We're almost done. All right. What do we got for Aquarius? For this Libra full moon, what do we got coming in for Aquariuses? For the Libra full moon, two cards for Aquarius, please. I'm asking for two cards and they're giving me like 60, so yeah. All right, two cards for Aquarius. What is the Libra full moon bringing in for my beautiful Aquariuses, please? <clears throat> All right, what do we got for Aquarius? Knight of Cups. Whoa, you're getting a hero. I need a hero. I'm holding up for a hero to the morning light. Ooh, for some of y'all. Damn and damn and damn and damn and damn and damn and damn. Okay. Not that you need to be saved, Aquarius. You are strong as shit. But let me tell you. You have this. Okay. Let me just. A wealthy man. Ooh, very nicely dressed. <sighs> Smells so good. Oh, deep soulful eyes. Okay. Okay. All right. So Spirit is showing me all of those. So for some of you, you have a very wealthy, beautiful, <laughs> godly like divine masculine, um, smells good, very attractive, very commanding presence, very like big dick, big energy, CEO type energy. Wow. Very, 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 very. Commanding. I just keep hearing commanding, commanding, commanding. Not to say that he's going to be like that with you, but he might. Um, not in a bad way. Ooh. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, as I'm saying, not that you need to be rescued, but he's going to want to come in and swoop in and change your life. He's going to want to rescue. He's going to want to save you. He's going to want to spoil you. He's going to want to, <laughs> oh God. So, um, I hate to say this, but I do love to say this, but this feels very Christian grayish energy. Like he's going to be the type of guy who's going to be like, no, I want you to drive this. I don't want you taking your car because your car doesn't get as much mileage as mine. You know what I'm saying? Type energy. Or he'll be the type of guy that's like, you know, he's just going to like rent a car for you because, you know, you're going on a trip out of town and he wants to make sure that you're safe because he's going to be like, and, and this is going to irritate the shit out of some of you Aquariuses. It is. It's going to annoy the shit out of you because I know, I know, I know, I know, I know Aquariuses don't like to be told what to do, but here's the thing. It's, this is what it's, so it's going to be like. So you're going on a trip and you're going out of town and you're like, oh, I'm going on a business trip, blah, 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 because you're independent and you love your freedom and you know you're a boss. You're a boss, bitch. And you're like, I'm, I'm going out of town. I have a business trip, blah, blah, blah. And he's going to be like, mm, you know what? Okay, you're, you're not you're not taking that car, right? And you're going to be like, what's the matter with my car? And he's going to be like, mm, nope. You know, it's just... It's not safe. And you're going to be like, what do you mean? Like, my car is very nice. It's a fucking Benz. Like, it's a Mercedes. Like, my car is fine. And he's going to be like, you know, no, I just don't trust it. You know, it's... Let me get you a newer one. And you're going to be like, excuse me? And he's going to give you that look like, and you're going to be like, okay, that's fine. 
because you know he's he's gonna be that that like real intimidating motherfucker and not that you're intimidated easily but he's gonna be like that very loving caring but sort of i'm in control type and you listen to me type man and you're gonna secretly sort of like it but it's secretly sort of gonna irritate the shit out of you does that make sense and so you're gonna give in to him but like you're gonna be like hmm Oh, I could just, you know what I'm saying? That type of energy, but like you love the shit out of him, and yet, you know, you can't wait to like climb in bed with him because his body's so rock hard and tan and oiled up and whoo, Aquarius. Good luck. Because <laughs> everything they showed me, and let me show you what else came out. He's a powerful, enlightened, hardworking, wealthy man. Oh my God. I'm jealous. <laughs> Knight of Cups. And normally Knight of Cups would be like younger, whatever, like not seasoned. But this motherfucker they're showing me, ooh, he's seasoned. He's learned a lot of lessons. Ooh, yeah. You want to know why he's seasoned? Because he had a very hard, barren, desert, dry upbringing. It was like, it was, it was just like Christian Grey, like Christian Grey. Remember, remember Christian Grey, the reason Christian Grey became so motivated was because he was starving. He was an, he was an orphan, right? He was adopted. His mom was a crackhead. And so he didn't have anything when he was growing up. That's why your person That's why he's so motivated to be better. But he's also awakened and enlightened. And I feel like he just woke up. And oh man. Good luck. Good luck Aquarius. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Pisces. We're moving on to Pisces. I'm done. Aquarius, I'm going to have to tell you to get the fuck out of my house because I'm done. I'm going to use my catchphrase on you Aquarius because oh wee. That energy. Ooh, good luck. Good luck, bitch. Good luck. Aquarius, get the, get the fuck out of my house. Get out of my house, Aquarius, because that energy is, oh, it's still lingering. You made me sweaty, Aquarius. Okay, I'm done. Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? What is this Libra full moon bringing in for Pisces? I'm done with Aquarius. <laughs> Take that energy with you, because it just gave me the vapors. All right. Oh, Pisces. What's going on? Oh, this card keeps coming up for you. You you got the same energy as Scorpio. Y'all manifesting way too much, way too soon. And now you got a whole bunch of shit going on. And you don't know what the hell you want. And you're bored and you're annoyed. And you're just like, you're done. <laughs> you're done with it all. One more card for Pisces. That's not helping, spirit. Okay. For some of you, Pisces, I see some new spiritual growth, some enlightenment. Some of you guys are going to be taking some spiritual classes. Yoga. Just like me. That's cool. Um, we got temperance. So there's, there's going to be a lot of learning to balance all of these deep emotions that you guys have. Just listening for more messages. Be careful. The snake keeps standing out to me. For some of you, I feel like someone's not being honest about something. They're not being honest about who they are, what they are. There's an energy of manipulation somewhere. Some of y'all being fucked over by someone. cold-blooded I keep hearing cold-blooded they're they're cold he's a cold-hearted snake 
Look into his eyes. Whoa, he's been telling lies. He's a lover boy, you play. He don't play the rules. Whoa, girl, don't play the fool, no. That's for some of you. That's for someone. They gave me that song. There's something in my eye as I'm channeling right now. But that's what they gave me for you. Girl, don't play the fool, no. That's what they keep saying. Girl, don't play the fool. Don't let this mother effer blow some smoke up your butthole. Okay? Something ain't right. Something ain't right in the night. Mm -mm. Somebody is going to try to buy you with some shit, too. They keep showing me, like, the cop with all the trinkets. Somebody's trying to buy your affection, and they're not, and it's for the wrong reason. They're not being honest. I see some of you getting restless and doing reckless shit, too. Don't let that shit find a hobby. <clears throat> Because I see some of you getting into some legal trouble, like with the law, if you guys get too bored and doing something reckless. Avoid any like high diving or anything like that. Avoid like adrenaline junkie shit, like high diving, jumping out of planes, um, parasailing, whatever. Because I see y'all getting into some shit. And some of you could get seriously injured. They're showing me like someone cliff diving and getting hurt. <sighs> okay. Sorry, y'all. These do level upgrades. I'm, I'm, my gift just went to a whole different level. I'm telling you, that sickness killed me, but look what it gave me. My third eye is cracked wide the fuck open. Yeah, stay away from water, Pisces. They keep showing me water. But I see some of you balancing a lot of your financial... Financial um, situations. Your work life. Um, if you're struggling to like balance like financial, home life... You know, taking care of your kids. Also, like, working out, working a job. That All of that's going to sort of balance out. You'll figure out a way to sort of make it work without being stressed out. That makes sense. Um, and there was one other thing. Let me look at the card again. They were just coming through. Learning to balance your um for some of you like you have a tendency to be like overly sensitive you're gonna learn to balance that out you're gonna take on this attitude of i don't give a shit <laughs> that makes sense for some of you there's a secret hidden gift or blessing coming to that you don't expect from someone or from some thing all right we're done <laughs> i'm gonna pull some quick love cards love messages for you Whoa! Sorry, I didn't do that one. Okay, I'm going to pull some spirit message cards for you guys. It was 24-24 when I paused it. All right. I think this is the only video I'm going to put out tonight. I wanted to read for some of the signs, but I think I'm just going to have to wait for those because this reading's already got way too long doing the signs. All right, so Aries. One card for Aries. Spirit message for Aries. This will hold y'all over till I get back. Seduction. There's your spirit message. Told you you had love coming in. Didn't I say that? Seduction. We got seduction for you, Aries. Whoops. All right. Taurus. What do we got for Taurus? One card for Taurus. One spirit message for Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Fate. Ooh, fated. You got some kind of fated meeting coming in. Take it how it resonates. Woo. 
Gemini, spirit message for Gemini. What you got for Gemini? One card, one spirit message for Gemini, please. What do we got for Gemini? Pisces. So pay attention to all the Pisces in your life. They're going to bring you something good. Or you're going to, your person is a Pisces or they have Pisces in their chart. What's next? Cancer? Cancer. One card for Cancer. Spare message for Cancer. Moving. I told you, didn't I say earlier that some of you are looking for a house and you're moving? I told you. I told you. You can't make it up. You cannot make it up because I'm really good at my job and I love my job so I'm good at it. Bye-bye. <laughs> cancer. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Leo, what do we have for Leo? One spirit message for Leo. Spirit message for Leo, please. What do we have for Leo? Do, 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 do. Fate. Oh my God. You got the same card as Taurus. Fate. Fate. Destiny is intervening. Hmm. Very interesting. All right. What do we got for uh, Virgo? Virgo's next, right? Virgo. Virgo, one card for Virgo, one card for Virgo. Spirit message for Virgo is brown eyes. Ooh, so someone with brown eyes is coming into your life, possibly your person. All right, Virgo. Libra, what do we got for Libra? It's Libra, right? Did I skip someone? Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra. Hmm. Am I a Libra? Yeah. Libra. What do we got for Libra? I think I did those in the wrong order. That's why. I think that's why I'm confused. Libra. <laughs> Your spirit message is Aquarius. So, your person is an Aquarius. There's going to be an Aquarius that's going to possibly impact your life in some way. Or your person is Aquarius in their chart. Who's after Libra? Scorpio. Your message for Scorpio, please. The answer is not right now, but soon. Okay. Sagittarius. Spirit message for Sagittarius, please. Spirit message for Sagittarius, please. What do we got for Sagittarius? Bald. <laughs> Some of you gonna go bald. Oh, Sagittarius. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So either your person has a shaved head, your person is willingly bald, <clears throat> feels like willingly bald. It doesn't feel like, like they've lost their hair. For some of you, it could be, you know, they're an older person and they're not older person, but you know, they, they lost their hair at an, at an early age or something. Um, but it feels like your person willingly shaves their head because they like it. Um, or someone that doesn't have any hair is going to gift you something. One second. Okay, so we need a spirit message for Capricorn. We're on Capricorn. What is your spirit message for Capricorn, please? Spirit message for Capricorn. Spirit message for Capricorn, please. Spirit message for Capricorn. What do we got for Capricorn? What do we got for Capricorn? Spirit message for Capricorn. Charismatic. Ooh. Now, this could be for you. Maybe you're very charismatic. Your person is probably charismatic, though. All right. We got Capricorn Aquarius. What is your spirit message for Aquarius? Spirit message for Aquarius, please. Spirit message for Aquarius. Spirit message for Aquarius, please. What is your spirit message for Aquarius? Ooh, we have brown eyes again. So maybe your person has brown eyes, Aquarius. Keep an eye out for someone with brown eyes. Somehow they're going to impact your life. 
All right, so last but not least, we have Pisces. What is the spirit message for Pisces? Spirit message for Pisces, please. Spirit message for Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? Spirit message for Pisces. Ooh, look what you got for your spirit message, Pisces. Piercings. So keep an eye out for someone with piercings. Your person might have piercings. Either way, people with piercings are pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Do, do. We rock. All right. So someone with piercings is going to impact your life in a positive, beautiful way. Okay. You never know. It could be your person. All right. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, all of my prices are in the description box below. You just got to hit that little arrow. So thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. Thank you so much, you guys, for all your well wishes. I love you so freaking fiercely. I do, you guys. I have so many amazing things coming in um, on the agenda for you guys. Um, be looking out for um, a little surprise collab that I'm doing with Cyber Fairy. Yay! I'm so excited about that. Um, I'm not even going to give you any details about that. But if you're not subscribed to her channel and you're not following her, please do. She has some fantastic, amazing, beautiful things that she's doing right now with her time. And she's giving so much back to you guys in the spiritual community. So please give her a follow. Check out what she's doing. And like I said, we have some wonderful things coming up from you for you. I also have a surprise magical collab that's going to be coming up really soon with the Fascinating Fairy. I am so excited for this one. I can barely contain myself. And I just want to go into detail about all of it, but I'm not going to. So we have some really exciting. This spring, this summer is going to be a fucking phenomenal, amazing month for for us on, on, a spirit, on a spiritual level for the spiritual community. we have I have so many surprises coming up for you guys. I am so excited for this new journey. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.